This is a cypress tree that was blown over and uh, it's huge. So what you're looking at right here is that's the root system. I wish I could be in the photo to give you some perspective, but it is about 12 to 15 feet tall. The rest of the tree, these are all runners. These are all runners that go clear over to the building. They got pulled up like the one right here at my feet. These are runners from the root system. And there's the giant root system that goes clear to the sky. Here's the rest of the tree. It goes clear out and across the street. This is the second of two huge cypress trees that were blown over in our property. And uh, there's a rainbow in the sky. It's raining a little bit right now. And uh, we're going to get a little closer here to this giant cypress tree and its root system. This tree's got to be 100 years old. And uh, again, I wish I could get in the photo to give you some perspective but it's big this root system if i can walk right up to it without sinking into the mud let's see look at this and then it's got these long runners that go in every direction And they just got ripped up out of the ground. So this is this huge root system. Again, I'm not a great photographer. Hope I'm not panning too fast. And I'm going to try and jump over this root here and give you a better look at the rest of this tree. Uh, there we go. So there's, uh, there's power lines right up here, too. We're very lucky that it didn't take those power lines down. Probably just missed those. I'm walking through some swamp. Ugh. Anyway, there she is. Giant cypress tree blown over last night. Again, I think this thing might be 100 years old. There's our rainbow all right stopping now here's another cypress tree that got blown over and uh, actually there's a little looks like a paddle boat this was actually up here in the top branches this morning Somebody must have dragged it down, or maybe the wind blew it down. We've been having some uh, still pretty good gusts of wind throughout the day. And I don't know if you can see, there's a canoe over here, too. But this, this cypress tree grows right on the edge of the lake. And uh, there's its root system, uprooted. Canoe. Right there. Back out, and there's the paddle boat. Up in the branches, there's a Anhinga sitting there. I don't know if we can see him or not. I like turtles. He's right up in there. When I zoom, it gets pretty shaky. So I'm going to zoom back out and probably shut this off. But there's the third cypress tree taken out by the storm i hope you all are safe and we'll talk to you later we lost a couple of palm trees right next to our building um, we live uh, on an end unit we're looking at my car right now that's my cadillac deville and then I'm going to pan over to the palm tree that fell down closest to my car. There it is. 
and uh, so my car didn't get hit however I'm lucky that that's the tree that fell because if this one would have fallen <gasps> yeah I would not have a car today but it was this little guy over here that fell down and that's why I still have a car there is another palm tree right over here another victim of Irma oh. I'm walking through swampy water uh, this palm tree is not that big either so I think probably the the newer ones you know they they don't have much of a root system anyway even when they're full grown so that little root ball just gave way so that's it um, gonna go upstairs and have a cold shower <laughs> it's only shocking for the first minute after that it feels kind of good hope everybody's safe and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye